episode of the Chrissy Mayer podcast. We are on iTunes, YouTube, Spotify, and SoundCloud. So if you like what you hear, if you chuckle, if you enjoy yourself, if you learn something, leave a five-star review. And if you don't, well, I guess don't do anything. Uh, I want to do a shout out to some comedy dates I have coming up this Saturday. I will be in New Jersey, Morse Plains, New Jersey, to be exact, uh, at the Dojo of Comedy this Saturday, May 14th, 8 o'clock show. I'll be headlining. Uh, my buddies Amanda Gale and Gina Hyena will be hosting and opening. It's going to be a great show. So much fun. And they have really good food at this place and good drinks. I know because I drink a lot. And then I got a bunch more shows coming up after Jersey. I'll be heading to Orlando to Megacon. Uh, I'll be doing a Simpcast live panel. Uh, that's Saturday, May 21st at the convention, six o'clock. I'm very excited to, to do this, see what this show looks like live. It'll be myself, Brittany Venti and Anna, that star Wars girl at Megacon. I did order a costume to cosplay. I am not telling you what it is. You guys can just guess. Uh, and I hope it will be simp worthy. Uh, then after Megacon heading to, uh, St. Louis, Missouri, uh, Wednesday, May 25th to do the Helium Comedy Club out there. Then that Friday, May 27th, I'll be at the Vixen in McHenry, Illinois. That is about an hour away from Chicago. But if you're in Chicago and you don't want to leave Chicago, you're in luck because we're doing two Simpcast live shows Saturday, May 28th at Reggie's in Chicago. Uh, and then I'm confirming a few more dates for the summer, one of which I can actually... It's not on my website yet, but I can announce it now because we just confirmed this today. Uh, if you live up in the Buffalo area, Buffalo, New York. So that's uh, that's upstate New York. <laughs> A night with Chrissy Mayer. Yes, it almost sounds like I escort. This will be at Nickel City Cigars in Buffalo, New York, Saturday, July 16th, 8 o'clock. Uh, price includes a 24-hour private club membership to the cigar club and one premium craft cigar. No drink minimums. Get as drunk as you like. And that's going to be Saturday, July 16th. A nice summer show, nice summer cigar show. And I'll figure out who's going to open for me later on. But yeah, very excited to do that show. Love cigars. Love men. It's going to be a great show. And then in September... Um, I'll be in Austin September 8th at the Cap City Comedy Club, then September 14th at the Helium out in Philly. So I'm so excited. It's going to be a busy summer. I'm very excited. You know what else is exciting? Making money from crypto. Yeah. Hit it. Guys, we've seen so many people making ridiculous money from crypto, but did you know that it's easy for you to do the same? The Copy My Crypto membership site shows you the exact cryptos that YouTuber James McMahon personally holds and allows you to copy him. It's like having a big brother who knows what he's doing. You don't need to know a thing about crypto or about investing or finance. You just do what he does. So let me tell you a little bit more about James. He runs the Crypto with James YouTube channel, which despite heavy censorship has over 15,000 subscribers and 1 million views. Since March of 2020, he's told his viewers to buy 26 crypto coins. Had you put 100 bucks into each one, it would now be worth over $66,000. Of the 26 coins, a coin called Phantom is currently up around 440 times from when he started. That one call alone has retired people as young as their 20s and 30s. Remember, this is all public knowledge. You can go to YouTube and verify this for yourself. So if this sounds interesting to you and you want to check it out, you can join the 1,300 members to copy James. Stop what you're doing and go to copymycrypto.com slash mayor. That's spelled M-A-Y-R. You'll not only find proof of everything I've said, but my listeners get full access for just $1. You won't find this offer anywhere else, but act quickly because this is a new year offer and it will expire soon. That's copymycrypto.com forward slash M-A-Y-R. Don't take this offer lightly. Crypto waits for no man or woman. Yeah. Copy my crypto. Uh, uh. 
get rich and your family won't know how you did it because it's crypto and they don't understand it because they're old. That was nice. Okay. I'm so excited to have this guy on the podcast today. Uh, he's been on Friday Night Tights a few times and he has impressed and humored me and I just love his content. So I had to bring him on the show. Plus, you guys have been requesting him over and over. So I listened. He is a YouTuber. He comments on anime, comics, news, internet drama, video games, everything. He he talks about it all. He knows it all. But we mysteriously cannot see his face. Welcome to the show, Yellow Flash. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, hello. <laughs> what a gay intro. <laughs> You've seen my face. I have seen it. I have seen it. And I I didn't know if that was a secret. I mean, it's not anymore. Now people know. No, but yeah, know. we met. We met in October in, in Nashville. Nashville. Yeah, you guys were. You were there with Anna, and we were at. We were seeing Dave people. Chappelle, and you were at some old man party. I was at an old man <laughs> party. It's that's what it was. It was. It was at the Gaylord Opryland, which is a big fun hotel in Nashville. I was there for a medical freedom convention which is yes a lot of old people people with cancer who um you know don't want to do chemo and want to just take herbs and hope for the best and then like uh, definitely a heavy a heavy anti-vax crowd there as well but they can't call it an anti-vax convention because that'll no. scare that'll scare everybody away no, so they no. called it medical freedom the Vax is great. It's one of the greatest things ever. It's so great. You should get as many of them as possible. All of them. Just get all of them. Try it out. See if it works. Co collect them all. Um, it's been a it's poof. I feel like the the this Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial has been taking up a lot of your time. And you're not it's interesting because you you know, you kind of cover you go where the wind blows you. You don't really stick to one area well i've been covering that since uh at least before the uk trial just because i think it's i think it's important i like that men as victims are getting a lot of attention and i like that this you know like maybe we don't believe everybody maybe some people are just shady right like i yeah. think that that's an important thing so if something that i really am passionate about i, I definitely will stick with it I, I think, think this we should, is important. We should go back to believe nobody, I think, is a good place to start. <laughs> I know it was believe all women. Now it's just like, mm, don't. Not only should you not believe all women, don't believe anybody. That should be the, the catchphrase for 2022. Some people are a little bit more believable than others. I saw uh, Andy Dixon, some Me Too drama now. Is he really? I I <laughs> last you... saw I saw some weird live stream of him in a, like a living room on a cot, and I was like, <laughs> "What has happened? This is a famous man, and everybody's in the chat. Like, are you okay? Can we help? Can we send you twenty dollars somewhere?" And I just don't know how how this is happening. Like, I'm sort of friendly slash do podcasts with his either former fiance or what the heck was her name, Elisa Jordana. I'm, but the whole thing is confusing to me because if it if there was somebody that I used to date or cared about still, like I'd be I'd get the first flight to like wherever the fuck they are and be like, I'm gonna get you out of here. It was weird. It was like he's in a weird hostagey situation. I don't know if you were. I don't really know. Yeah, I, I've been following it since he's popped up on these live streams. Like, there's this. It's called the IP2 community, and it's a bunch of these. IRL, IRL live streamers and he's for he first popped up on that guy's stream which was really weird because he was at first getting drunk on this cot and watching old videos of himself on YouTube is very depressing like he's just watching like when he was actually relevant on YouTube getting drunk while people send oh, donations yeah. and every time he tried to leave that dude would like punch him or pull a gun out it was it was really messed up and now he's on these RV streams and every time he gets drunk, he's like groping guys, dicks. And okay. one gay. time yeah. he, he a little gay. Yeah. Well, he, I think he's, I think he's pretty sure he's more Boy. gay than into women. Okay. He says he's uh, bi, but he's, he's, he's gay. 
He's more than buy. He's a he's an impulse shopper. He's, <laughs> yeah. What's wait? What's he, more than buying? I don't know. It's, I'm gonna ban. Yeah. Uh, one stream. There's so there's two out. There's two times. The second this guy called the cops. I'll, I'll break it down real quick. So the first time was this one Sonic streamer, and he was caught on camera going up while the guy was passed out drunk, unzipping his pants. And then somebody like woke up. What are you doing? And he's like, there's a stream on. And he turns the stream off. Then the guy fires up another stream and he's like what? in the bed trying to like jerk this guy off while he's sleeping. And he got busted. Andy was Andy was yeah, trying Andy to jerk was. someone off while Andy was sleeping or while the guy was while the guy was sleeping. Right. Because if he was, that would be like sleep jerking, which I guess is should be studied in a lab. So he was trying to jerk <laughs> off a sleeping man. Yeah. And then the second cool. guy, this guy fell asleep and there's people saying that something might have been put in the guy's drink. I don't know. A dick. Um, yeah. But this yeah. guy wakes up and he's like, why is there lotion in my butthole? <gasps> oh, <laughs> so, no. This is awful situation. And uh, the guy called the cops and they believed it enough to take him to jail. And he went to the hospital to get checked out. To get the lotion out. Right. I guess that's what this is about. This came out today. Comedian Andy Dick arrested on sexual yep. battery allegations. The Orange County Sheriff's Department took the actor into custody after a man accused him of sexual assault. I guess this is the lotion in the butt guy. Yeah. Damn. Damn. So he's he's in jail right now on a twenty five thousand dollar bond. Yeah, it says it right there. Whoa. I don't know if he's gonna get bailed out. Like who's gonna be his he has no money. He's broke. It's a lot of money. He's flat broke. Why didn't he? I guess he didn't save. Yeah, it says he had $3 million <laughs> at one time. That's all. That's got to be all gone. I, he what? can't have it. The way he, he begs and he's like living in like flop houses and staying on these people's RVs. It's it's uh, it's crazy. This is sad. How, how do you not get famous and then immediately like I'm in I don't know anything, but it's like if I became famous, I'd be like, oh, number one person I'm going to hire is a money manager to like manage. I mean, what little money, Co you know, or, or, or I don't know. Drugs. He's he's addicted to cocaine. Like he was talking about coke. Like when that guy accused him of uh, whatever he did to his butt. Uh, he's like Andy said to him. The first thing was, "Did you steal my cocaine?" Oof! Wow. In October of 2017, Andy Dick was fired from a film after he was accused of groping, non-consensually kissing, and licking coworkers. He was also accused of sexually propositioning at least four members of the production. Well, good for him for reaching out to the production guys because I feel like the <laughs> actors get all the attention usually, and it's about time somebody pay attention to the boom mic guy. Wow. As they were, he said, as uh, he denied groping the coworkers, but admitted to licking and sexually propositioning them. He said, "My middle name is misconduct," and his coworkers know what they signed up for. Whoa! I can't imagine being that arrogant, like, and just feeling untouchable. No pun intended. Well, I guess he's not because he's in jail now. Yeah, he uh, he was grabbing on everybody. But most of them were just, you know, ha ha and letting it go. Not this time. Wow. He's probably groping people in jail. Well, probably a lot of buttholes full of lotion in jail. <laughs> no drugs or alcohol, though. Well, he can make toilet wine. Toilet wine? Yeah, he can make toilet wine. You mean Franzia? Like box wine? That's probably around the same thing, yeah. That's <laughs> how they make alcohol in prison. Like they use the toilet or something. For real? I, I think so. Up. Toilet wine prison. Do, 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 do. Oh God! Toilet wine prison hooch. Peel. Okay, you have to take oranges. Pruno hooch juice raisin. What the? Oh, okay. It's called different things. This is crazy. Oh my god! Okay, you fer you're fermenting fruit. Ew! But it's in a toilet. Although I've I've been on keto for a minute, I really miss wine. Like I might be up to drinking some toilet wine myself. You have to peel the oranges in a plastic bag, 
squeeze out the air, seal the bag, mash the fruit, don't pop the bag, add sugar, mix it. If you're in prison, just run the bag under hot water, wrap the warm bag in a towel or an extra pair of prison underpants. At home, why would you be making this at home? Yeah, well, I think you get wines like five dollars for like Boone's Gas Farm wine. garbage. Yeah, like yeah, you just go grab that. If you're making this at home, you need a new hobby. Wow, that's so interesting. And to get back to your point before about let's not trust anybody, let's stop believing people. I think Ezra Ezra Miller, Ezra Wine, I was called Ezra Ezra Wine. Ezra Miller is on the list of people uh, that should stop <laughs> continually being let off the hook. So this came out today, video released of Flash star Ezra Miller's arrest outside of Hawaii bar in March. How many times has Ezra Miller been arrested at this point? At least two in the past couple of months. A new video from Ezra Miller's arrest in March has been made public after the Flash actor claimed to have been assaulted during the police encounter. In the police body cam footage of the arrest of 20, I can't believe he's only 29, uh, the 29-year-old actor who identifies using they, them pronouns is heard telling officers that they were assaulted, that they, I'm like, what, who, who's they? It's him. Uh, while authorities attempted to put, place him in handcuffs, this is so fucking confusing. Following an incident that went down at a bar in Hawaii, I got assaulted and I started filming. Let me show you the video. I got assaulted in this bar twice in a row. I film myself when I get assaulted for NFT crypto art. The flash star says in a clip. Okay. So I think this here is the body cam footage. Uh, I haven't seen it yet. I don't think yellow flash has seen it either. I'm going to play it. I don't know how bad this is going to be. I don't know if any of you guys have seen it before. I haven't, I haven't seen it yet. There's no probable cause to search me. Fourth amendment rights, search and seizure. I claim <laughs> Fourth Amendment rights to not be searched on lawfully. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. I claim my Fourth Amendment rights to not be searched on lawfully. I, I claim my Ninth Amendment rights to not be unlawfully Jesus. persecuted for a crime of no designation. Disorderly conduct being something I am unguilty of. Unguilty. I my Fourth Amendment <laughs> rights. <laughs> not, not, not guilty. No probable cause. That you will not be able to offer in a court of law. He sounds like a bitch. I claim my Fourth Amendment rights to not be searched and seized. Please do not touch my ring. Yes, come off. Okay. You'll get it right after. My this. Fourth Amendment rights. <laughs> okay. To right there, okay. And seizure. Don't touch it. Okay. You can tell he's drunk. I claim my Fourth it. Amendment rights. I claim my Fourth Amendment rights to not be searched and seized unlawfully and without probable cause. There. Yeah, I guess it's not working, Ezra. I claim my Fourth Amendment rights to not be unlawful. Hey, you just touched my ass. Please don't do that. Uh, yeah, I'm right. I'm transgender, <laughs> non-binary. I don't want to be searched by a man. I'm transgender, non-binary, and I don't want to be searched by a man. I claim my Fourth Amendment rights. Is he? Hold he's on. not transgender. It sounded like he said I creamed my Fourth Amendment rights. Oh, he's wasted. He's. I don't know which of them. So I don't know which situation this was. I think it was the first one. So in the first one, he uh, attacked a woman that was singing karaoke. Yeah, this is March 28th, 2022. Yeah, that's the karaoke incident. And then he fought a guy that was playing darts. The second time he was arrested was when he uh, he hot, he threw a chair, a chair at a woman and hit her in the head. Wow, I guess he really wanted her to sit down. <laughs> Damn. All right, let me watch the rest of this. Let's see if it's Nine, interesting. Search and seizure if there is no probable cause for my arrest. Search and seizure. I claim my Fourth Amendment rights. Do not be searched and seized like stop and frisk when I have committed no crime. What is he so worried I about them the finding then? I claim my Fourth Amendment rights to not be searched and seized. Thank you. What is that? Yeah, what is it? That's a gun. Wait a second. What is it? Oh. Air a toy. Thank you for letting me. Belt buckle and my Nerf bullets. I appreciate that. Why would you keep Nerf bullets, Nerf bullets on you? Those look, those look like real bullets, but what the hell do I know? What? You Ryan invited me here. The owner of the car invited me here. Should I grab this other one and put it in there? Absolutely. The, the bigger stuff. So it's now they're going to pull out back. everything that they so find in his ass. ass. Yeah. Well, that, that's I, I, not I, us, bro. That's the bar. Why does he have all this shit on him? 
Okay, but why am I getting a men uh, are not allowed to carry purses. He invited me. But he's a they them. He should be carrying a purse at this point. Can you get a man purse? Absolutely. Get a fanny pack. Why am I being arrested? Sounds like a pain in the ass. How how do these cops not crack up? Do you think they know who he is? He said, "I don't want to have nerve damage from the cuffs." <laughs> what a fucking pussy! Actually, do you have any you fuzzy like handcuffs? I'm waiting for this cop to call him ma'am. We'll, we'll try to take him off as fast as we can when we get back to the police station. Right. It's just a Absolutely. short ride. It'll be a very short ride. Whatever you need. Okay, thank you. Absolutely. Okay, keep him on now. Keep it on. Okay. Yeah, all the way back. Yeah. Thanks, Mano. Shoot. All right, I'll get that in. Holy cow. So all this stuff is right here, okay? We'll bring it with us and then... um. Right, these cops have to, like, really cover themselves now. They're, they interview wow. the guy he fights. I don't know if that's on that one or not. I saw uh, they were watching it over on Midnight's Edge. That's the only part I've seen. Oh, wow. He sounds yeah, Irish. The cop? No, the guy that he tried to fight, the dark oh, player. Oh, let me see if it's on this article here. He's got such a weird-looking head. Um, mm -mm. Wow. All right, I'm going to pull this article back up. Does he get special treatment because he's an actor, because he's a they-them, both? He does with Warner, for sure. I mean, he still works there. They're not even considering replacing him. Wow. That's Which is crazy. messed up. If he uh if he had the wrong opinions and this happened, I am sure he'd be out ASAP. The wrong He's political protected. opinions. Yeah. Wow, he claimed his ninth amendment rights, his fourth amendment rights. The right to wear makeup. Uh, hey, you just touched my penis. Please don't do that. I'm transgender, non-binary, and I don't want to be searched by a man. He should have said that, like, off the bat. I think he was enjoying the search. Let's see. Is I'm Ezra there. Miller claiming to be transgendered now, like, mm -hmm. other than this one time? Uh, it sounds like it. I think the rules are you can just flip whenever you, like, back and forth anyway you so. of course you can absolutely because you're not required to have surgery to back it up you don't have you don't have to you know you don't have to take hormones you just you can have a feeling yeah, you can just say you know if, if you don't like that i have facial hair that then you're conforming to the binary beauty standards or some shit i saw one say mm-hmm Let's see. According to a news release from the Hawaii Police Department, Miller became irate after being asked to leave a get together at a Big Island home and threw a chair, hitting a woman in the, in the forehead. Miller began yelling obscenities at one point, grabbing the microphone from a 23 year old woman singing karaoke, and later lunged at a 32 year old man playing darts. The bar owner asked Miller to calm down several. Who keeps asking him out now? It's like, you know that this happens. <laughs> you should know he's crazy, not invite him. Like, Maybe he's gonna be the next Andy Dick. Oh my God! For real, this is bad. Yet, yet places still want to work with him. Imagine if he was Chris Pratt. Yeah, he'd be you done. Have, Never work you can, again. You can have the worst behavior, but as long as you have the right opinions and you're kind of gay, you'll be protected from steel wrath. Thank you for the super chat, Chrissy. Please search. Code Blue Cam's woman sets porta potty on fire because she doesn't like it. The ladies, the lady is so crazy in that video. It's okay. This is a word. This is an SAT hot word. Tragalaros. Is this a real word? Also, I watch you, Yellow Flash. Thank you. Woman sets porta potty on fire. Oh my god, this better be worth it. Woman sets porta potty on fire. 
Oh boy. Okay, this is four months ago. God, there's multiple videos by this name. Oh. Why are people so mad at porta potties? Yeah, I in college I would uh I must admit I tipped over a couple of porta potties. I actually it would be the same one. I would just tip it over over and over again <laughs> at, at school. Cause I was being a badass. Okay, wait, let me pull this up. At least you didn't set it on fire. No. I, I, you know, I was not a chemistry major. I wouldn't know how to do that. I don't know what chemicals react with toilet water. Although it's a lot of toilet wine. So code. Other okay. items on top to keep the fire going. A bystander confronted Melissa and put out the fire. The porta potty sustained significant damage. Melissa then sat on a picnic table um, and remained there until police arrived. Okay. Why did she wait? I can't handle this back and yes. forth. On here, and I'm cussing and cussing and cussing. Yeah, you know, that's a life. So, what happened? What's your problem with the porta potty? <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's full of shit. That's great. Karma. That's hilarious. So, you mean to add it on fire? Well, just you know, proving the point. It's just plastic shit, you know. Water's in the bottle. You can't even fucking get a drink out of water bottle right now. You have to pay for the damn water. So, I had no water salvation. I don't even give, give me a bottle of water. So That's you shit. light a porta potty on fire? Just a little bit, you know. Like just a little bit. Right. Would you just use your lighter? Yeah. And then the, the toilet paper? paper? Yeah, toilet paper. That's it. Lid and toilet paper. Oh shit! Yeah. I didn't know it was so easy. Telephone booth. Oh yeah, just light it up. Was your Mostly plastic, fire? isn't it? What was my intention just yeah. to burn some shit? Just to burn some shit. That's all. That's shit, it? literally shit. <laughs> That's nothing but shit. You said your name. Your name is Melissa, right? Yeah, Melissa Miller. Emer. 91 Where Melissa are her Miller. shoes? I see what ends up happening. Did they take oh, her away? Oh yeah, she can. She admitted to it. Police brutality. Police brutality. <laughs> All right, more scuffle. So you're arrest for arson. We're gonna bring your stuff with you. Okay, you're gonna go across county jail. Any questions? Let me go. Let me go. Is your question? <laughs> Let me go. Uh, double squad by chance? Yes. You just want to pull it up? I'll hold yep. under. You got her? Yeah. Oh, fine. You can't just light things on fire. Really? Why not? <laughs> because this place is full of shit. Oh. Steel Ryan. Wrath says in the chat that go, seven minutes 19? is the best part. Seven minutes what? in. Oh, 19? thank you. 1919s? Okay, here we go. Huh? Bad job. They've Turn made it off. to the car. She's not wearing a bra, this woman. <laughs> I guess that's her coat there. Uh oh. She's wearing tights. Oh my God! Rats, cats. All right. Sats, rats. Put on here, okay? That's it. Go ahead and sit back so it doesn't get your mouth. I can't sit back. My hands are arrested. All right. My hands are arrested. Oh. <laughs> You're judged, bitch. All right. Fine. All yeah, right. Fake earrings. No, you did you not. Her what? Call her earrings locked. fake. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is good, right? You're good. You're very, very good. <gasps> she yeah, was so nice to the men. Okay. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you. For what? <laughs> Jesus. Looking at it. No, I was coughing. I was talking to myself. Her. Oh Her. my god. I would never I would die before I work one day as a police so. officer. Know something. Right. Yeah, that's a hard job. I cannot I can't handle this. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't like conflict. I couldn't handle having somebody your earrings are fake to my face. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> People are fucking crazy, yellow flash. And oh, it's yeah. getting worse. Seven minutes in. <laughs> uh, she asked to be let go. They wouldn't let her go. Minor Zircon. <laughs> Yo, Flash, what the fuck is wrong with Lofty and his takes? <laughs> I, I don't this know. sounds like some internet beef here. No, this uh, Lofty is a, is a regular guest on my Saturday podcast. And he has uh, very uh, different takes on some things. Like what? 
Well, uh, last weekend we were all arguing about that Doctor Strange movie, and he very much loves the movie and was very offended and debated five of us all at once for about three hours. Really? So he thinks, is he of the... uh, of the opinion, like people are being too critical. I've heard, I've heard some folks be like, "Oh, you can't enjoy it. Everyone's too critical." Yeah, he thinks people are being too critical of it. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, it's literally a stupid movie. It was hard to enjoy. Like, I'm not even as bi- as big of a nerd as most people, but I found myself like audibly being like, "Come on!" Like throwing my hands and be like, "Oh, really?" You know, like two moms, of course. You know, like I was yelling out. At certain points, I'm like, do we really need to see the pin? You know, it takes you out of it, for me at least. Uh, the two moms, do you know what the name of that planet is they live on? Uh, Home Depot. Utopia. Utopia. You know why it's Utopia? <laughs> because there no are no men. men. <laughs> yeah, right. How does anybody put their Ikea furniture together? You know, it's all fun and games till someone's got to get an air conditioner in the wall. The woman who wrote that origin story is a extreme man-hating lesbian i'm not making that up hates men no surprises there uh okay so was was the drama resolved or or uh lofty just until the next time lofty disagrees with us okay does this happen often (laughs) yeah quite a bit hmm okay yeah i was gonna bring up something about Doctor Strange. Uh, 25 Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness behind the scenes. Facts from writer Michael Waldron. Awful um, writer. Awful? What else has it, he done? He wrote Loki, which is oh, an awful show. no. Have you seen that show? It's awful. I have seen Loki. Did you like it? I was entertained by it, but there there were some moments where I was like, ah, uh, I don't know. Like, I saw an article, and we were supposed to talk, talk about this on, uh, not to name drop on Gutfeld the other day, we were talking about like Loki being bisexual. And I was like, I don't know if that is, uh, should be part of the lore. I guess they made reference to it once him, like hooking up with priests or not priests, <laughs> princes and princesses or something like that. Like he said the word prince. Uh, it was, it was in there just quick enough so that they could edit out for other countries. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Yeah, they're gay for pay. So I don't know. I I just feel like I, I, think I don't like that show a lot better if there. it was just him and that Owen as Owen Wilson. Yeah. If it was just those two, like in a buddy cop show, I would have liked it a lot more. Because they're great actors, both of them. I mean, he's Tom Hiddleston is great in this in this role. Yeah. Yeah. It's just the writing. So I I guess I enjoy Doctor Strange. All right. What what are some moments uh let's see since director sam raimi has such a distinct voice in the horror film genre michael and sam worked to make sure multiverse of madness deliberately felt like a campy raimi horror movie in a lot of places yeah except you don't see the uh the shield going through uh lady captain america yeah they couldn't show that because blood oh it's a pg-13 movie uh and it's it feels like it's Raimi until the parts were that were directed before he showed up were done. Like they shoot the action scenes before the director even comes on. Really? That doesn't seem like the right move. Yeah, the directors don't have a lot. I mean, they have some, but for the most part, like all of this is very thought out by the Marvel uh, big wigs before anyone even comes on. Most of the action scenes are all shot out and done before the director. From what I understand, that's how it's done. Like they do that all, then the director comes in. Okay. Yeah, I would have liked to see more of Doctor Strange in the movie. I think it was like too much about this like young chick. And I don't like how like his whole character arc was basically at the end of the movie. He like begrudgingly or not begrudgingly, he kind of he bows to uh other Ben here. Yeah, Wong. Uh, Wong. Who just comes off as an idiot all the time, but he's the Sorcerer Supreme. Yeah. Uh, Okay, here's another hidden tidbit. While writing the film, Michael read all of the WandaVision scripts and watched early cuts of the episodes in order to fully understand Wanda's journey in that series. Hmm. I don't like... Yeah, I don't like that she was able to 
act poorly and do all this shit under the under the guise of like, well, I'm a mother and and like I'm you know, you don't understand you're not a mother and all this is okay because I'm a mother. And then they're like at the end they're like, she did the right thing. It's like, no, she was <laughs> out of options. Her kids rejected her flat out. Like she literally tortured and murdered people, but she did the right thing. I'm a mother. She was torturing people. Like those sorcerers. Like a couple of them she was torturing. Yeah, I, don't, I don't like it. It gives the impression that like, well, if you're a mom, then you can manipulate the people around you, you know, because you love them. And, you know, ugh. it's kind of, it's it's toxic femininity to me. Uh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness began filming while WandaVision was airing. So the cast and crew were slowly watching it become a sensation while working alongside Elizabeth Olsen and seeing everyone fall in love with Wanda Maximoff in her performance. Yeah, that's what I was wondering if they were shooting scenes of this movie during WandaVision. Well, I know they changed the ending because they didn't want Doctor Strange was supposed to be in that show. But he really? wasn't because they didn't want Kevin Feige, this is his exact words, they didn't want a straight or a white man to explain Wanda's powers. So they cut <laughs> him out. <laughs> but I needed a, a straight white man to explain her powers. <laughs> And it's stupid because ultimately it is Doctor Strange who allows uh, America to use her powers because he just says to her, oh, you got to believe in yourself. You just trust yourself. Just trust yourself like a dad. I don't know. I, th I don't think he's a bad guy. I've heard people call Doctor Strange like, oh, like he's stupid or people think he's portrayed stupid. But I don't know. I He's one of my favorite characters. I, th I, I think... He did a lot of stupid things that he never would have done before. And plus, 60% of the movie was a, like, like, bare, like most of the movie was about Wanda and America Chavez. And the movie's called Doctor Strange. Mm -hmm. So when I go see a movie about Doctor Strange, like, that's what I want to see, like, winning the day at the end. He didn't even get to do that. She beats herself. Yeah. I liked the corpse. I liked the like the re and like using his corpse body. I thought that was kind of fun. It reminded me very much of like Two Face from Batman. I don't know. I could have seen more scary shit, but again, like that's keeping in mind the PG thirteen rating. Okay, so this is number six. Alongside knowing the story of WandaVision, Michael was also told what was going to happen in Spider Man No Way Home and how it would affect Doctor Strange's storyline in the MCU at large. Okay. Elizabeth wrapped filming on one. He was an idiot in that movie too. Oh, strange. Yeah. Why? I don't understand why he would have done that spell for Peter. Well, in the con, well, the, that's like, so originally it was Mofesto that erased everything. But after that happened, the guys was that he changed it so that everyone would forget his memory of him. Cause he revealed his face in the, in the comics. Okay. So it's in the lore, man. Um, Steel Wrath, seven minutes. Oh, I did that already. Whoops. Let's see what else I miss here. Pastor Flash. I love, ref I love refrigerators. <laughs> Who doesn't? Blackguard 4. I know there's no actual answer, but he claims to be trans. <laughs> oh, it's about Ezra Miller. He claims to be transgender and non binary. How does that work? He's a man that transitioned to a woman which is in the binary, but he's also not. It's so stupid and absurd. Yeah, it sounds like he's trying to hand out all of his victim cards just to get them uh, off of him. Thanks, Blackguard. Okay, let's see. Oh, here's another one from Pat Maloney. Hail Yellow Flash. Get Kumia on a Saturday stream. Great lineup this week, Chrissy. Congrats on Gutfeld. Lofty is a lovable beta. <laughs> <laughs> so lofty is a man yes okay i didn't know mm -hmm. um one from let's see code oh my god you guys are too many too many messages code e the naked space hero loki bisexual in norse lore even mothered a child really yeah i don't know that that's interesting hmm but he did it in a manly way um, 
for both Chrissy and Yellow Flash, do you think most actors believe in the wokeness or are they just following the path that they believe will give them success in their industry? And so they say the ridiculous things they do. Yeah, I think it is the second one. I think it's they're just very passionate about continuing to work. And most of these actors, they haven't seen they they've come through the Hollywood system. They don't know another way. They they're probably afraid. Like Gina Carano is seems like the exception but there's so many other actors that have just quietly because we don't even hear about them anymore that's how out of work they are i think they're so afraid of losing work losing their connections being blacklisted that they just go along with it and they can say oh well i have kids to put through college or oh i have to keep working oh it's not my position i think it's both. Ho hollywood's always has been liberal but she's gotten worse you think they truly believe in it I think some do. Yeah. I think a lot of them are just on board. And some they just parrot it to keep a job. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's true of, of a lot of uh, like the behind the scenes guys, like the crew. Like they'll just kind of be like, yeah, well, I, uh, I have this job and uh, I'm in the union or whatever. Only a few more years. Like they just sort of count countdown like my dad was a teamster i'm thinking like would he care about the no he he didn't pay attention at all like he couldn't care less he was the least starstruck guy possible and he was just doing it for the paycheck type but he also like drove trucks so he was kind of removed from what was going on okay let's see here i wonder if anything any of these will be interesting uh, Elizabeth wrapped filming on WandaVision a few days before flying to London to start filming Doctor Strange. Michael explained that it was amazing to see her have total ownership of Wanda and the Scarlet Witch. Um, Total ownership? I don't know. I feel like he's trying to make it sound like more of a thing. Like, she's great. I like her, but... Yeah, I do too, but they've they've kind of ruined the character a little bit. How so? Well, I mean, I don't like what happened in WandaVision. She didn't get any repercussions for enslaving an entire town. And then in this one, she murders people left and right. And it's just like, well, she did the right thing. Like, mm -hmm. she should probably go to prison or something. Like, Yeah, you know what I thought they were going to cover in Multiverse of Madness? I really thought, because I was seeing, oh, horror element, everything I was hearing about it leading up to it. I really thought that we were going to see some kind of footage of like, not people being abused, but like some kind of a scary shot of maybe, you know, a kid trapped in a loop on his room, you know, like on the, uh, the outer um, kind of like on the edge of town when people were looping more and more, like I think people's activity would increase the closer she got to them. Like the NPCs would, I guess, you know, have more activity the closer she was to them. And so I, I just remember they, they they were alluding to people that were like stuck on the edge of town. Like a kid wouldn't leave their room for like a couple years or something like that, or a few months. People weren't going to the bathroom. Like I thought we'd be seeing like a little bit of that, like the dark stuff going on. Nothing. Um. Right no consequences at all just for going oh when i do it i get in trouble when you do it when you break the rules it's okay you're a hero that doesn't seem fair i do like the moment of this movie where it, it for her to stop being such a crazy bitch it takes somebody showing her kids like what a monster she is yeah they don't like the idea of her killing their mom <laughs> <laughs> like yeah what did you think was gonna it's such a dumb like he even brings that up do you, what do you what's gonna happen to the other wanda like brings yeah. it up right away very egotistical it's like what but i look just like her why <laughs> why can't you be my kids it's like it's your you're you're basically considering your kids to be like super fucking dumb wow i do like the line when she was like don't worry they'll be loved crazy in fact, one story element Michael collaborated with Lizzie uh, a lot on was one his ideas about being reasonable and calling out Doctor Strange for his actions. Oh, I literally just said that that make him a hero, but make her a villain. Elizabeth wanted to make sure the audience could understand her actions. Eh. <laughs> that I don't know. Well, to nobody me, 
to me, it didn't seem like she was being reasonable. I thought it was just confusing. I didn't see it as her being reasonable. Yeah, I didn't see that either. Like, you know, it sucks lo losing your fake kids. But, I mean, you can't just go murder people. Yeah, they should have called this the Scarlet Witch movie. Uh, watching Elizabeth Olsen finally tackle the Scarlet Witch while on set was a highlight for Michael and the rest of the team. And he explained it as a really physical, grueling performance on top of a lot of emotional stuff, too. Oh, look, there's her wide range of emotions. <laughs> Why would they pick <laughs> these two pictures and put them together? Wow, look at that range. And this one, she has a headband, and this one, she doesn't. I think she she does okay. She's, She's much better good. than Brie Larson. Oh, true, true. Yeah, I think I think she's good. Um, Michael said that working with Sam Raimi was one of the most collaborative experiences he's ever been a part of, and he learned a lifetime's worth from him about making film, telling stories, working. With, blah blah blah. This seems just like they're kissing each other's ass. Wow. Okay. Oh yeah, this whole Illuminati scene. Oh, that How really pissed me off. That scene. I did not like the. Uh, you know, I thought we were going to see. I can't remember the name of that uh, other black woman, but she was ultimately she was friends with Wanda in the last movie in the uh, in Wandavision. What the hell was her name? She was like her friend. That was her, Letitia something. Um, and I thought she would be part of this Illuminati. She panel. was. Uh, she was. She played no. uh black. She's Monica Rambeau version of Captain Marvel in this. Black black rum. Something. What the hell is Monica Rambeau? Right, you said it. But yeah. she wasn't in she wasn't up here. It was like they had like a different that was her. actress. No, that was her. It was her? Why did it look yeah. like a different person? Because she had really know. short hair. Yeah, that was her though. That was Monica oh, Rambeau. Because Monica Rambeau is Captain Marvel in the comics for a minute. Okay, so I was I don't know. That's she's like an alternate thing. Captain Marvel. Okay, okay. I'd rather her be Captain Marvel than fucking Brie Larson. Why do you think we didn't see? I think I brought this up on Friday Night Tights. Like we see alternate versions of the other characters. Like we see alternate Captain America in the form of like the girlfriend he had at the time. Um. So why don't we see alternate, like different actors or actresses playing Doctor Strange? Yeah, I don't know. That would have been nice to see. I mean, a movie called Multiverse of Madness, I would like to have seen them hop around more universes instead of just like a couple. We got that one scene where they were going around and then this, they, this is where they spend most time and then they go to that little spot where he fights himself, the evil version. Mm -hmm. I'd like to have seen more. Yeah. And this, this scene was a joke. The Illuminati is supposed to be like the smartest uh, best people i think in the comics it's it's professor x reed richards iron man black bolt namor um wheelchair man yeah professor x is on there right. <laughs> i don't like it took them way too long to like address oh, captain the america was but they brainwashed him and kicked him off oh wow <laughs> they like raced his memory of it because he disagreed We're like well we'll just kick you off then and make you forget we were ever <laughs> we were ever a thing they but in this one they were a bunch of morons i think they took too long to address the scarlet witch like who's clearly about to be coming in and they're like let's just watch dr strange and make sure he doesn't cause any trouble it's like no go deal with the scarlet witch what are you doing here i just thought it was like they took every opportunity to be like, no, you're like an evil white man and you're you're evil no matter what universe you're in. Like that seemed like the through line. Uh, when coming with the character. Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right. Well, Patrick Stewart, John Krasinski, Haley Atwell, Lashana Lynch and Anson Mount shared every scene together. They were never all together filming. That's boring. OK, this article is getting boring. Yeah. Overall thoughts, like it was entertaining, but there were moments where I threw my hands up and I was like, ugh, why? I don't know. Wait, somebody said, Flash, this was Monica's mom from Cap Marvel. 
not it Monica was. from WandaVision. Is that true? It might be. It was. Yep, you're right. It is. Because that was, it was her a different mom. woman, right? It was. Yeah, a it is a actress. different woman. Yeah. Okay, I thought it was losing okay. my mind. Okay. Yeah, you're right, mind. Nick. Nick. <sighs> Thanks, Nicky. Nicky. Yeah, he's right. He's right. Okay. The only time we saw Monica was in WandaVision. So yeah, but he's right. Yeah. Okay. 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 Why was she Captain Marvel? That doesn't make any sense. Right. Remember the scene when they, uh, the Illuminati people were being killed and I was like, oh, I, I think they're being killed in, in order of their privilege. Cause like <laughs> the white guy was like sliced up like julienne fries, like right away. It took almost nothing to kill the dudes. And then the women were a little bit of a, yeah, they got fight. the Reed Richards, the smartest man in the MC in the, not in the MC cause he's, he has not in there yet other than that scene. But the smartest man in the Marvel universe, who's supposed to be durable as hell, you could run him over with a tank, but she instantly, <laughs> she instantly just blows his head off and turns him into spaghetti. Sure. And then Charles Xavier, the most powerful telepath in the Marvel universe, she's just instantly better than him. Because he's an old white man. He's old the white patriarchy. Man, yeah. yeah crazy crazy um i want to i i know you're an anime person and i am not very much an anime person but i love anything that has to do with boobs so here's where our interests collide so this came out fans highlight chinese censorship of demon slayer kimitsu no yaba anime and i was like this is great so apparently in china when this came out they just redid all of their shirts <laughs> Yeah, they've been Why, doing that over there. Are they against boobs in China? Yeah. It's Why is it? Is it because women generally have smaller boobs in China? Or is it I a cultural thing? I don't know, thing? but they're doing this a lot with their anime over there, censoring it quite a bit. They kind of do it a little. They Not so much, but they used to do it quite a bit over here, too. I think it's amazing. This is how you know a guy drew this, because these three women have the exact same boobs. <laughs> like what are the they odds know it sells. unless they're triplets you know i'm like they wow know, they know what sells over in japan that's true i don't see any tentacles um okay wow and then okay so this is another version uh china's anime censorship unironically looks pretty good uh okay so this was something else where they just made the boobs smaller i can't oh yeah i see it yep Let's see if I can pull up this tweet. So I'm just like, okay, well, what is the point of this? Okay, original and China. It's like a magic eye. No, it's like that game at the bar where you're like, oh, circle the differences. Okay, so this eat lady, her boobs are slightly smaller. But then these two way smaller. And the one in the back. <gasps> and the one in the back. Hers yeah, look flatter. Look hers. They look deflated. Yeah. It looks like she just got done breastfeeding for a couple years. Wow. But see, I'm... look, they'll do that for China. So I try to tell people, like, people think that Japan is this impenetrable fortress of anti-censorship. And it's like, well, they're doing it with China. And the doors, there's a couple of stuff, like the a couple of comments and things like that about censorship over here. And I don't know. I think in a couple of years, they'll probably start toning down the way they do things in Japan for over here so that they can appease the the mob, corporate interests and like stuff in like what, that. In what way? Well, I mean, you can tell whatever story you want in Japan. Like, I mean, there's literally shows about sexual allegations that aren't true, like Rise of the Shield Hero is a good example of that. Like, you could never tell that story in Hollywood. A, a woman not telling the truth get out of here hmm. or so like you could do an anime about like a fake hate crime Josie Smollett. <laughs> <laughs> you could tell a story like that if you wanted to you can't do that over here damn there was, was some it? show i forget the name there was some show about if the confederates the confederates had won the civil war it was gonna be on hbo and it's going to take the perspective that the South won the Civil War. And we, it would jump to today's time. 
and they cancel it because it would be too offensive for people. Oh my God. Okay. So what if the, did this come out a couple of years ago? It never came out. Oh, where was it supposed to come out? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be on HBO. I could be wrong, but I, that show was going to get made and they didn't make it because of the fact that uh, it would offend people. Oh. It's like, who cares? It's just a show. There would be even more MAGA hats. They would have ultra MAGA. Wait, never mind. Oh, wait, HBO's Confederate with the South had won the Civil War. Oh, boy. Well, this is a non-article. Good job, Chrissy. Yeah, it's, this I happened a while that. ago. This this was like news from two or three years ago, but I mean, why shouldn't the show get to why if they want to make that show and tell that story? I mean, who why cares? Not? If you don't like it, just don't watch it. But you're not allowed to tell those kind of stories. You're not allowed to tell a story that's not approved in the right, right line of thinking. If you can do a storyline that's like, oh, right, the, the two moms that live in Utopia, why can't you use the same, you know, create cre creativity, storytelling? Okay, tell what you think is even a bad story or like a worst case scenario because, you know, it's just a movie. It's just a story. And, like, you could have made that show work. You could have, like, it obviously probably would have had, like, a, a resistance, and I'm sure there would have been a bunch of black people in the resistance. And it's like, you could make that show work and like make everybody happy, but you don't want to do it. You'd rather just cancel it because it's too offensive. Pussies. This is a brick. Oh, says miss my, Oh, miss my super chat on Flashcast. Where did we land on Amber craps, the bed squatting or standing when she was on Johnny's bed? Wow. I had a similar discussion on one of my <laughs> shows. Like, did she shit on the bed or did she shit in the toilet and then transport it? And then like, which is actually worse. I, I like, would hope she squatted over the bed instead of handling it. I mean, but she's a nasty bitch. So. Yeah, then you're involving poop <laughs> and pee. You're pooping and peeing in the bed. Like ultimately, <laughs> like you're gonna have to sleep in there at some point. Like I guess they're not doing their own laundry. Um, but I'm like, yeah, is it worse to do it all in the bed or transport it from the toilet? That's a tidier way to do it, I guess. I mean, tidier for the bed, not for your hands. Yeah, what she I mean? probably was. She probably was. Based on what the poop looked like, uh, yeah, she probably was squatting. And you, then you run to the bathroom and tidy up. Ugh. Or you use the... Sh At that point, why don't you just use the sheets as booty wipes? <laughs> That's true, what yeah. So Might disgusting. as well just go all in. <laughs> use the blankets, too. What do you think is going to happen? So we're now... I was talking about this a little bit with Rakita last night. They're going into a week-long break. I don't know why. I guess so. Uh, the judge is going to a conference. Oh, at, okay. at a conference okay what kind of a conference medical freedom a judge conference maybe it's oh. for law i don't know right right right. okay is it typical to take a week-long break in the middle of a trial like this i don't know that'd be a question for nick <laughs> okay that's a law question what do you think is gonna happen do you think do you think it's gonna ultimately be in johnny's favor I hope so. I mean, yeah, it's all to the jury, and they have to be unanimous. I didn't know that until last week, because usually it's 51%. Wow. Yeah, I think it's going to be in Johnny's favor, too. Just reading the stories about these fans that how much money they spend just to be sitting in the jury every day. Like, they spend some of these women spend thousands of dollars just so they can be, like, hanging around and watching it live. It's probably mental illness, but it's interesting to see. Um, Nikki, Nikki, Flash. This was Monica's mom from Cap Marvel movie, not Monica from WandaVision. I read that already. Dara Muth. Tell her about redo of Healer Flash. <laughs> also, the one in the Eat shirt is called Elma, and the other you pointed to is Lukoa. Wow. Props for knowing the names of the characters. Redo of Healer is a show about rape. Oh. Like the fun kind or the everybody not just gets raped all the time in that show. Really? That's it? <laughs> How does it happen? I mean, just different ways to get raped. And this is anime? Yeah, well, it's more of a 
what I think called etchy. So it's like borderline. It's not full on. You never really see penetration or any of that, but I mean, it's pretty there. It's weird to look it up. We used to review every episode on Flashcast. That's how the show got its start. Oh wow! Was reviewing that redo of Healer Show because we thought it was. We thought people were going to go insane over it, and they just ignored it, which was something that you know usually SJWs don't do. They don't ignore things. No, they don't. They're very good at harping on things. So I'm going to bring up. This is funny. So just a quick search of redo of Healer Flash brings up these images, and I'm like, oh, I'd be careful scrolling through those. Okay, the, the, you can get this image on a baby shirt. <laughs> oh, no. How terrible is that? <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm going to stop scrolling. The last time I did this... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'd be very the, careful scroll scrolling through, through redo of healer search images. People saw a dick by accident. All right, I'm going <laughs> to... Yeah, don't do that. Quietly. <laughs> click out of that. Wow. Sounds like a creative show. Uh, let's see, Blackguard 4. I think the reason they can't or won't tell the, those stories is because they can't separate fiction from reality. Yes, good point. If you tell a story about how the South won, it somehow becomes real in their minds. I do think they believe that part of their work, some people believe part of their work is honest, literally like manifesting this shit. Like they're like they're dr the driving force in culture. Well, yeah, these people see like, uh, who was that? what was the name sarah silverman saw like a construction sign and she thought it was a nazi swastika oh my god that's right that was so dumb i was so and embarrassed they, for her they're, they think there's like nazis around the corner everywhere they live in a bubble they don't live in the real world i've never met anybody like that in my life like i've never met any of these like hardcore bigot racists that they say are everywhere yeah, I haven't met any, uh, like, I really haven't met very many celebrities, but the closest I can compare it to are, like, comics who have very rich parents and have, like, never had to work and just live very, like, sheltered, kind of boring lives and haven't banged around much in the world. Um, let's see. This is from Jesus Davila. Chrissy, I know this anime gets recommended often. Cowboy Bebop, one season, about 24 minutes an episode. Good gateway anime. Yeah, I heard a lot of people talking about that. Like it is what, a great show. Months ago, it's not like a a big investment either. It's only, I think, twenty four episodes. It's not long. Oh, okay. All right. Short and sweet. To do list. I'll put that on my to do list. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh God. Okay. Well, I want to know your thoughts on this. So this, uh, this came out today. Sony PlayStation staff fume over CEO's abortion comments. This seems so weirdly unnecessary. Um, so basically the CEO, uh, some staff at the Sony group corporation are seething following an email Thursday from the head of PlayStation that urged employees to respect differences of opinion on abortion rights before entering into five detailed paragraphs about his two cats first birthday. Uh, the email opens by addressing several current events, including the recent leak of the uh, U.S. Supreme Court opinion. Uh, to me, this seems just like so unnecessary to send a company wide email about. Uh, Why even comment on it? Why comment on it? Many corporations have felt pressure from employees to comment on the case. This is then the fire reason them. right here. Yeah. What you're supposed to be the in charge. You're supposed to be the daddy. You know, you know what I mean? Like you don't let it doesn't it goes the other way around. They listen to you. Like you don't listen to your fucking employees. Yeah, I, I don't get this. Like these people bitching and crying like to the to the higher ups, like you fire them then. Mm -hmm. Every like, job I've ever had, no one has given a shit about what I thought. I don't know. Like, I'm going to go to the boss's room and tell him how I feel about abortion. Ugh. What? It has nothing to do with what you do. Uh, standing up for reproductive choice and liberty is, is not a difficult decision to make. Ah, oh, boy. But are these companies and are these executives so worried that they're going to just hemorrhage employees if they don't bend the knee and say something woke every time some shit like this happens? It's stupid. I don't. I, I don't get this. You, you, if anything, you just lose money doing it, because, I mean, that's a it's a pretty hot button issue. You know what? I wonder if this is just this contributes to your ESG score. 
problem. Uh, just like hiring a certain amount of like BIPOCs and like gays and shit. Like if you maybe if you put out like a few company wide like emails and, and you're like uh, kind of signal boosting something woke, you get some e more ESG points. That's the only thing I can think of. But Sony's not in that great of a position, though. Like the only thing holding that company up right now is the video game division. Like everything else is kind of tanked down. Like the only thing holding Sony up is PlayStation. That's it. Like, and if PlayStation wow. like tanks down or has like a, a problem and they start, if they don't make the money that they're making right now in the future, they're fucked. Wow. And again, this is another problem of listening to women too much. Some women wrote that they felt their rights were disrespected or trivialized by the message. One employee what said is, they, Sony's not the one <laughs> striking down to, to, like Supreme Court decisions. Like, why are you sad with Sony? Like, <laughs> they didn't make abortions illegal. Like, why are you yeah, mad with this, them? Yeah, the problem is, is <laughs> just acknowledging it at all because not everyone's going to be happy. Because you're not supposed to mix your your job and your political or personal feelings about it. That's shit. how it should be. Yeah, they're That's upset that be. they didn't support abortion enough. They they're upset that there was no email attachment with a with a free abortion at Planned Parenthood. I guess that's what they were hoping for. If, if only if if only Sony had spoke out sooner, that it might not have been reversed. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, the more people I talk to, the more it seems like it's it's Roe v. Wade is going to be reversed, and then it'll just be up to the states, which is how it should be. I don't know. I don't think we should make abortions super easy to get. Call me old fashioned. It's a uh, it's it's a it's a hot topic. I definitely think um, the way it is, where they can just take these babies that are eight months eight months developed i think at that point i mean there should be a set point if any like okay you know maybe at this point you should have like thought about it at this point i don't know yeah it's really insane that that that's even seen as a hot take to be like yeah i don't think we should be just I killing short-term babies point eight month year eight month developed babies out and you know breaking their necks i don't think that's, that's it's, not, it's probably not a good idea so sad jesus to be like christian no oops i already read that wow okay dara muth also don't let her know about world's end harem christy is missing out on a lot but there are quite a few good gems like studio ghibli for example ghibli how do you say that ghibli ghibli studio ghibli it's like japan it's japan's disney except they're not they're not woke Oh my, how refreshing. <laughs> if you want to watch a good Studio Ghibli movie, I think Princess Mononoke is a good place. To... I have seen that movie. Okay, well, there you go. There's two by that guy, isn't there? A whole bunch. The Howl's Moving, ca Moving Cabin Castle? <laughs> Howl's Moving Airbnb? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I got to rewatch that. That was really cool. Very artistic. Claudia Rogujan, random, but the new Spider-Man comic kind of sucks. I have not I agree. seen it. Have you? Yeah. Why does it suck? Because once again, Peter Parker is just beat down, and it's like Mary Jane, for some reason, has children. Not with Peter Parker. At this point, I'd rather Marvel just retire Peter Parker and Mary Jane and let them just go live happily ever after. And just stop, like, ruining that character. Have them go to a retirement facility where they hook up in the in the nurse's room. Just let them go have children and be happy. And Get old people chlamydia. That fucking Miles yeah. character, take it up. You can do whatever you want to that character. I don't care. Wow. Seems like everything is such a mess. What would it take to, to turn these companies around? Or you think that's impossible at this point? Get rid of ESG. That would help. Yeah, just focus on the stories. Get back to the lore. Get rid of ESG and uh, stop listening to crazy people on Twitter. But not us, right? Yeah. People actually spend money. Yeah. 
Oh boy, this is crazy. I want to, let's see. Oh yeah, this was funny. This is irrelevant, but I liked this article. Amanda Seyfried. She is somebody who I feel like has not gone crazy. And it's because she's taking a bit of a left turn away from Hollywood. Um, as you all know, she got her big break in Mean Girls. This is the part I thought was a little bit naive. She got recognized by her fans. Uh, the comments that the guys would make when they would approach her about the scene made her very uncomfortable. Oh, because it was something about her boobs. Oh, her boobs had ESPN powers that could predict the weather. But it's like, dude, like, what do you expect? Like, you're... <laughs> You were like a cute girl in a movie and the character made reference to your boobs. Like you're so shocked. People, guys are going to stop you on the street and talk about it. Um, but this, I thought was interesting that she bought a farm. She chose a different, she, she basically saw what a hot mess Lindsay Lohan became. And she went ahead and like bought a farm. And I'm like, yeah, it's probably, I'm kind of amazed that she was able to do that, but we've still seen her in, in movies like she hasn't been kind of excommunicated from Hollywood like she's been in a few things in the last few years so she's kind of like Dave Chappelle maybe yeah Dave Chappelle lives in Ohio on like some 30 acre area where he just rides four wheelers all the time with his kids that sounds pretty awesome what yeah, did you does. think what did you think about that guy who's who attacked him on stage do you feel like it was wrong of him to kind of like beat the crap out of that guy. Do you, f I, I think like security absolutely dropped the ball. It shouldn't have gotten to the point where this guy was running up on stage. Like it should have been as much security or more like you would at a normal concert where there's security guys all lined along the front of the stage. Yeah. He should have never got up there, but you know, uh, him getting beat up. That's good. I mean, fuck around and find out. I think they and it didn't really get a knife charges. Yeah, he had a, like a knife with a gun stuck on the end of it, like a modern day bayonet. And I don't even think he was. They pressed charges. Yeah, I, if, if it's because it's in L.A., that's why you got a woke D.A. there. He's not going to I think the guy was gay or trans or something or maybe both. So, I mean, that's enough already. We got to we got to take a real good look at these charges. Oh, Can't boy. have someone like that get locked up. He pulled an Ezra Miller. Yeah. Yeah. He trans that's that's why Ezra it. Miller doesn't get fired. I mean, if it if that was anybody else, if that was like the shit that Ezra Miller has done, if that was, I mean, look at Johnny Depp. Yeah. I feel All he had were allegations and they fired him from a movie. But Ezra Miller, do whatever he wants. He'll have to kill somebody. And the only reason he won't get the role anymore is because he's in jail. Yeah, even Alec Baldwin can kill somebody. Yeah, he's still getting work. Get in trouble. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I heard a rumor that that, that that cinematographer was making a documentary about pedophilia. And that it maybe was not a total accident. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, interesting little rabbit hole. I'll have to go down later. Um, Claudio Rogojan. Nick Spencer shouldn't have left Spidey. So good. I don't blame him for leaving. He's making more money at Substack. Oh, that's like basically the new blog. Yeah. This is a brick. Abortion, the NBC is getting them. Uh, we don't need more of that said. Got to reapply some responsibility somehow. Gothics has a solid take on this. Oh, I'll have to listen to her thoughts on it. Yeah, I think uh, this country needs to embrace and possibly glamorize self-responsibility uh, and move away from the trend of glamorizing, taking no responsibility for your life. And always being a victim. That's where the real currency is now. Oh yeah. What would be your what would be your victim card if you had to if you had to like tomorrow you're like, okay, I'm in a mess. The only way out. What would I do? I think I would be I would have to become more gay. I would have to really talk about the experiences in college I had where I drank too much or like the two threesomes I've had. I think I'd have to really lean into that and be like, no, I'm I'm pan now. <laughs> pansexual yeah I was, I like, i'm trans you're trans okay yeah. that's they that's them too strong yeah. they them we're gonna go we're gonna go all in you don't like my voice well that's because you're used to the feminine norm <laughs> besides the the giant depp amber heard trial what 
what are you liking to and what are you enjoying covering right now uh on your youtube channel if you guys aren't following yellow flash already get to his youtube channel and hit subscribe but what has been enjoyable to cover lately i've been following this lauren pazienza girl who killed this grandmother for no reason this has been an interesting little case i've been following because she so this older woman this this first off this girl was like she grew up rich as hell her parents very successful no has no want in the world uh lots of people come forward that she's like a spoiled socialite brat and she for some reason went up on this old woman and just pushed her and called her a bitch and like that killed her like she split her head open this Dude, what was old her woman. relation to this woman she didn't know her at all what yeah so she killed her and then she ran and hid in the hamptons and deleted all of her social media accounts and stuff and like uh oh this one was I've, her singing coach yeah no no she wasn't training from her she the woman that got killed was a singing coach okay damn but i've been really enjoying watching this uh this brat get her up and comments like she just spent her first night in prison on rikers oh, island wow <laughs> was denied bail because she's a flight risk Holy and she shit. is so this has been fun to follow she had several glasses of wine beforehand while celebrating with her fiance that night because it was 100 days before their wedding no, How nobody now. does this nobody <laughs> does shit 100 days before anything oh she does she's loaded oh who is this person why is she rich her parents have a very successful business oh boring in new york okay so she's living on daddy's money have you, I, th I think there's a picture of her with this roadster car I don't know if it's in that the daily mail always puts it on there with her and her swimsuit pictures and stuff i just think it's hilarious like she just thought she could go up and just kill like push this woman and you know now her life's ruined damn okay okay oh she's from long island uh-oh <laughs> some this is what people have been tagging me in because they're like oh she looks like you all right now it's starting to come together here um parents of the 26 year old new york city events planner appeared her manslaughter arraignment after she shoved an 86 year old grandmother to her death and then hit out in long island damn oh boy she looks like a normal person here like maybe a little crazy in the fun way but like there's just, all kinds of people that have murder. come forward saying she's a real piece of work whoa i mean everyone knows somebody like that this spoiled like spoiled bitch mm -hmm. What the? Okay, so this is like a this is a total random occurrence. She called her a bitch and shoved her as hard as she's ever been hit in her life. What the hell? And then she hung around the area arguing with her boyfriend. As soon after the attack, she went back to home. Oh my god, this woman is like living the same life as me from Long Island and lived in Astoria, Queens. Uh, went back to Astoria, Queens, quit her job at a store in Chelsea, deleted all her social media, took down a website advertising her wedding. The day after Gustern died, she allegedly fled for her parents' home in Long Island and stashed her phone at her aunt's house so the police wouldn't find it. Wow. How does a regular person know to do all that? <laughs> she shouldn't have done that. It makes her look really guilty. Yeah. Like, wow. Why would that was dumb to do? Dumb yeah, to you do because like that's that's all gonna get brought up at trial like why'd you do that damn i can't wait for that trial to start oh this is gonna be juicy oh this is gonna be this is the fiance yeah well i think the wedding's gonna be off and he's gonna have to go back to driving for uber because his meal ticket just uh, it know. worked out better for him like i think <laughs> this, <laughs> yeah. this would have been a bad She's gonna get John, he's gonna get Johnny Depp with that that woman. Oh, this is so sad. Yeah, that's it. she just went up and killed that woman. Awful. Damn. Someone's grandmother, literally someone's grandmother. Is this the footage? No. That's her walking away. <gasps> she looks so chill. So you're looking back. That's looking back at the crime scene. Whoa, that's psycho. 
Okay, every aspect of this is pretty psycho. Damn. And that's the paper trail right there. They have her using like your boyfriend's card and her card all over. They have a they have a whole timeline up until the point where she killed this woman. Oh my god. Okay, so where's number one? Okay. Fatally shoved, and then she went up there. Okay. Oh wow. She didn't think to leave right away. You know what? It's nice to see that people like shoving crimes are getting a little bit more diverse you know it's good to see some additional representation it's not always black guys and asians it's nice to see some white women getting into the game that's the long that's the long <laughs> island home wow Damn. you should see that picture her social media pictures i know daily mail always puts them Just scroll down you'll see them that's the, her lawyer Oh damn! He looks I think like that's her the, dad. He looks that's like the dad. bar rescue guy. Yeah. Oh damn! He looks pissed, but he's like, you know what? I'm not surprised. Where's her social media? You said it's down. It's a bit. down. Yeah. Uh, oh my god! That's, that's uh bad. the guy. That's her grandson. Oh. Oh my god! That's so sad. That's where she lives for free. Oh, they're not in there. That's interesting. I thought they were. Oh wow. wow. Astoria Queens. Where is this building? I lived there. Is it a doorman building? They must have lived in the nice part of Queens. This is I probably her, to like Long Her Island. parents own that, I think. Oh wow. It says in there that the fiance's family owns that building. I thought it was her family that owned that building. I I thought that's what I read in a previous article, oh, but it could be his wrong. family owns. Yeah. Okay. I I'm take back sure. my Uber comment. Damn, that will be interesting to see that trial. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. I just found that a long time ago and started following it. There's something about Long Island. I think it's all the chemical testing that they did in the 40s <laughs> or in the 60s, whenever it was. It's made people either you get cancer, or you get kooky, you chop off a dick, you push a lady, you kill people. It's like there's a lot of weird, a lot of weirdos coming out of Long Island, unfortunately. Um, okay, hold on. From Steel Wrath, I missed my super chat window. However, important, my wife quit hormonal birth control and went from a size 16 to a size 8. She is happier and we use condoms. And I last longer. Win win. This solved Roe versus Wade for me. Well, wow, congrats to her. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. I was on hormonal birth control like when I was like 22, felt really weird, got off it, haven't been on anything since just sort of like watch my cycle and I'm like, stop being a dumb slut. And it's like, not that hard to do. Um, and yeah. What's the, cool. she lost weight. What is the different, what makes that one hormonal? I don't. Hormonal birth control is like, basically it's the, the pill or, um, and you can stick a copper IUD, I think up there. Ah, uh. I think those are both hormonal. I think basically hormonal birth control is anything you have to take. Like, like not the rhythm method is obviously not hormonal or like watching your cycle or like pulling out is not hormonal birth control. But pulling so, out's effective. It works. It it's yeah, it's worked for me. <laughs> it's like 95% effective. Yeah. Why do you need birth control? You have a mouth. I don't know. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a motivational speaker for a reason, I guess, but yeah. And it kind of tricks your body into thinking hormonal birth control tricks your body to thinking it's already pregnant. So, so much shit gets thrown out of whack your, from your personality to the type of guy you choose. It's fascinating stuff. I've read stuff about that. Like women coming off of birth control and they're not attracted to the guy they're with anymore. Yeah. That's because crazy shit, you, man. You, you're kind of like you stay at one position in your cycle. Whereas normally you'd be like all over the place. Like I know I'm a little bit cunty, like just maybe a week couple days out of the month um but yeah it affects you more forest mommy congrats on fox girl you have a right wing you right wing ho oh thanks forest mommy divine dragoon another good animated check out is interspecies reviewers where the mcs <laughs> go to brothels and review them takes place in a fantasy world well, who know who knew anime was so uh 
colorful and interesting. Oh, there's a lot of stuff like that as you move in, like etchy hentai stuff. Oh, I've heard of hentai. There's all kinds of different genres. There's something for everybody. (laughs) So is this one of the last genres to like be ruined by wokeism? Uh, It might be a minute till they get that. But I remember people were pissed about interspecies reviewers. I'm going to Google the pictures again. But that one was about they go and they want to review every brothel and they have sex with uh, like different oh types God. of like <laughs> women from different species, basically. I mean, it's okay. These pictures I can't really, I can't really show. <laughs> yeah, don't show those. Okay, their boobs are like each the size of their heads. Okay, this is intense. All right, all right. This is not a beginner anime. Whoo! All right, thanks for the suggestion. Interesting times. Wow, I'm excited for that trial now. Um, Sexy Groove, I loved you on Greg Gutfeld. Jimmy Feeler rocks. Next time, go full Chrissy. What does that mean? Like wear a short a shorter skirt. No, I kind of like. Uh, I played it a little bit. I want. I wanted to get the feel of the show. Yeah, I saw and, you went on there. That's uh, that's awesome. Thank you. They ended They're up cutting out Fox News now. Oh God, who knows? I mean, like maybe not after they finished googling me. They cut out two of my jokes. Um, I made fun of Stacey Abrams' tooth gap. I said like if the Democrats <laughs> are are looking for votes, like like there was this outrageous claim that the re- that some Republicans stole an election from a Democrat, and I'm like, oh, if, if they think. If they think they're missing Democrat votes, why don't they look in the gap between Stacey Abrams' teeth? They cut that one out. <laughs> and uh, they were talking about the new press secretary. I forget her name. But I was like, oh, Fox News isn't racist. Oh, and by the way, I love this lady in Get Out because she looks just like uh, Lupita Nyong'o. I thought that was a great joke, but they cut that out, too, because maybe that was a scourge bit racist. But it's all good. I don't feel bad about it because it's like... You're like a buffet. Like here's an here's an array of jokes, and you guys pick which ones you like, and you know you can't get offended because they have to be able to stand behind everything that you say. So, so there. They're used to getting called racist. Yeah, yeah. They don't need me helping them out with that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, Flash. This was a blast. Um, the time has flown by. Where can people find you and follow you? And what are you working on now? What videos can they look out for from you in the future? Well, the biggest one right now is, of course, the Depp trial, because I think it's important. And I'm just, I think, like a lot of people, really interested in it. So that's, I mean, for the next two weeks, that'll be the main topic. And then things will probably go back to a little bit normal. But I'm I'm really enjoying a lot of the stuff like that, like that brat, woman i like covering that kind of stuff so you're into like a personal like a personal piece interesting personalities yeah i've i've always kind of just covered whatever i want it's kind of nice it's a blessing as i say yeah you're too blessed to be stressed uh <laughs> follow yellow flash on twitter at yellow flash guy check them out on minds.com slash yellow flash and on twitch at yellow flash too T-W-O. Um, amazing. Amazing, guys. Thank you, everybody in the chat for listening and your super chats and your good comments. And now I have a lot of anime to check out. Um, I'm excited. I'm intrigued. I'm a little scared, but I think it's about time. And I'm going to the uh, Megacon in Orlando uh, in a couple weeks. So I was almost going to go. And then what happened? I uh, just... <laughs> <laughs> I had to replace my entire uh, HVAC system in my house, so that was expensive. Oh, no. Yeah, new That's air conditioner thing. and furnace. So, why don't you just get the air conditioner? Because it's going to be summer soon, and then worry about the furnace when it's going to be cold. Because overall, it's cheaper to just do it all at once. Okay. All right, you made the right decision. Yeah, we'll see. I I don't know what to expect. Um, I only have one costume to wear. I might just cosplay as myself for a couple days. But yeah, Anna wants to go on a, uh, like, go look at manatees. So I'm going to go do that with her. It's going to be fun. I hope they don't like, I don't know. I hope manatees aren't like rapey. I guess I'm going (laughs) to find out. 
<laughs> I'll wear my nicest bathing suit and I'll let you guys know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm having a hard time landing this plane. Everyone subscribe to Yellow Flash on YouTube at Yellow Flash Productions. Uh, and you can see the rest scrolling by. Thank you guys again. Until next time. Bye.